Chess friends, how are you? Hope you are good and do you know that I played with Magnus Carlsen, Maximum, Alpha Zero Engine and LC Zero. But I never played with Hikaru Nakamura, so I decided to play chess with Hikaru and sacrifice my two rooks against him, so let's go, I started the game with a4 to sacrifice the rook like this, do you know the plan? We have e5 followed by rook a3 to sacrifice it, Hikaru takes rook, knight takes a3, I need lot more developing moves to hold the position with dark square bishop and pawn structure, we have knight f6, e3 and Hikaru played simply castle, b3 knight c6, bishop b2 and he pushed the d-pawn, this d-pawn move insecure the queen structure and the knight, you know what, what does that mean? However you can't understand it because you have 2G brain with 2 gigabytes RAM, I want to make the double pawns on c-file, always remember that you are absolutely unique, just like everyone else, so queen d6 to protect it, knight e2 and we have a6, the bishop have no square to run which is why I decided to take the knight, queen can't take this because of this, b takes c6 and the pawns are doubled, he maybe want to push the pawn and the b-file is useless for the rook because of the b3 pawn, so castle. c5 knight to b3, I want to play h3, d3 to control the center squares of the fourth rank, we have bishop e6, d3, rook e8, his next move is to play c4 with the supporting of the bishop and try to open the d-file, I am down a rook so I played queen e1, threatening to play f4, he played h5 as a true stockfish subscriber, the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you gotta put up with the rain, you want to push the h-pawn, so I played f4 first to target the e-pawn with the bishop, after takes we have rook takes f4, I am targeting to the knight, and Hikaru played d4 to block the bishop diagonal, but he don't know that Levi Rosman is watching my video, I sacrificed. Yes, you are right, the rook, Levi Rosman may feel great and leave a comment because life is about making an impact, not making an income, after takes, the file gets open so queen f2 to target the pawn, if you play queen e7 to protect it. Tell me and I forget, teach me and I may remember, involve me and I learn, so let me involve you to the variation, then knight h5 will come to target the pawn with queen, but the real problem is that the checkmate is coming with queen and knight, we will play king f8, you may think to move the queen like this and checkmate him, but that it not the best move, best move is like, choosing a sharp, pin from grass, best move is to play knight takes pawn, then waiting for some moves to activating the bishop on this diagonal to pressure the king, then you can go with queen h4 queen h8 to checkmate, and if you still think, what the hell about queen g3 queen g7 checkmate, if you play queen g3 check then bishop will block it on g4, you may happy by getting a free bishop and you may think, I am going to checkmate him, no fool, there is killer move queen check, king f1, and you will be checkmated, this is the reason why you are losing a chess game from a winning position, you become overconfident and erogent by the ego and forgets that, your opponent is as powerful as you, if he can make blunder then you can too, back to the position, Hikaru played bishop g4 too quickly which is why I take the pawn on center, if you take the pawn then the knight will come to the c4 square, queen here then h3, the bishop have no square to run, therefore black will play h4 to target it, knight e4 bishop f5 to target the knight, tell me which piece is more important, the knight or the bishop. The knight is controlling many squares with a great knight outpost, and the knight can create many problems to the king because the king have no army, and bishop is less active than the knight, his only job is to stay with the king, so we will play knight d2 to help the another knight, the knight can get the great outpost to control many squares like the e4 knight, this is targeted by the pieces, queen takes pawn is coming, position will be very bad for Hikaru. If you set your goals ridiculously high and it's a failure, you will fail above everyone else's success, so we have queen e7 to offer queen exchange with a check, and if you move back your bishop on d7, then I will play knight e4 to target the pawn with queen, and the big problem is that, the bishop is about to get the diagonal to attack kingside, black will play f5, then queen g3 check king f8 d5, sacrificing the knight, if you take it, and of course you will take it because you are a 200 elo player, and the game will be over with queen and bishop, so back to the position, if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel then you can like and subscribe, 
h4 by Hikaru to target the knight, the king have no army to protect the king, because I sacrificed my rook for his knight long time ago, can you remember? That's my plan, knight e4 to target the pawn, f5 and I played d5, opening up the diagonal for the bishop and sacrificing the knight at the same time, I told you that, knight sacrifice is a trick but Hikaru takes the knight because he is only 2800 elo rated player, however it's a drawable position, bishop takes f6 and he played queen d6, blunder move, I always love to sacrifice my pieces against human because of this reason, humans always play at least one blunder or mistake move in 50 chess moves. Humans can never play a perfect chess game, if you got mated in 3 moves then that's a another thing, best was to play e3, let me show you the variation, e3 to target it, so queen takes pawn to support it, black will sacrifice the queen, then queen takes f6, e2, this is coming so queen g5 check, king here check, and it will be a checkmate by threefold repetition moves, because the king can't go to the e7 square, because of king f2, and the king can stop the pawn promotion. Black will lose the game from a drawable position, but in our actual game, human brain is not capable of playing. Chess, because chess needs an intellectual and sharp brain, not a donkey brain like you, he played queen d6 instead of e3, so queen takes h4, queen h8 checkmate is coming, so bishop h5, and you cannot take the bishop because of this, so queen check bishop blocks, queen h6 queen g7 is not possible because of the same reason, you need a another piece to attack so knight c4 with an extra move, queen f8 queen f4, this is coming so bishop h7 to block it, knight e3. This is my tactical knight to destroy total king position and the king, knight and queen have a great nightmare with the bishop, the bishop have a great diagonal, can you remember? Long time ago I sacrificed the rook for a dark square bishop, he left his dark square bishop and my bishop seized the complete dark square diagonal, this is called stockfish gambit, and you keep in your mind that, the black king must be attacked by closing the pawn structure and position without opening the position, if you open the position then the rooks will be active more than the bishop, and you may lose the game, so he tries to open the position with e takes d3, knight g4. And he decided to resign the game, because after d2 knight check, queen takes h6, takes, d1 queen check, king h2 queen h1 check, after after two moves later, black faced checkmate on g7, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.